Yep. We're doing this. We're effing doing this. Q intro. Okay, so pretty much in the middle of the paper or document that you're working in, you want to go ahead and draw a square. Make the square as perfect as you can. So I'm just going to, you might want to use a ruler for this, but I'm just going to wing it because I'm a total boss and uh, I'm totally not using a tool uh, to assist how I'm drawing straight lines here. Yep, this is completely uh, just raw skill. So get a square as perfect as you can. You might want to draw around a coaster if you've got a square coaster or something like that to get that shape right. When you've got that square down, identify the midpoint of this line here. Okay, so think about where the exact middle is going to be. It's going to be more or less there, right? Again, you might want to use a ruler to actually measure that out, but again, I'm just going to kind of wing it for the sake of uh, showing you guys the tutorial. So I'm bringing it down to about the same height as the uh, as the square that you drew for the body. Okay, so this is the bit between the legs. When you've done that, you can draw a line to the left and join it up to this line here. And you can do the same on the other side for what are basically the, the feet of this character. It doesn't really have feet. They're just kind of like stumps at the bottom of legs. Okay, so uh, mine's a little bit wonky actually, shows how good these tools are, but let me just fix that real quick. Maybe start about there, there we go, it's looking a little bit better. And then either side of the square, this is the torso, I'm actually just going to write torso here so, so that we remember that's the torso. And then either side of this we're going to draw basically these exact same shapes again, but they're going to be either side of the body. So about up to here, so it's more or less half the width of the, uh, of the square that we drew again, down to about there. Just make sure it all joins up and again on the other side and you can probably see the shape really kind of like building up now you can kind of oh i didn't go quite far enough over let's do that one again there we go you can start to see the kind of roblox noob shape building up a bit here all right so what we've got is an arm here an arm here two legs and a big square torso so what about the head the head isn't just another box it's got kind of a softer curve to it but you might want to start with a box and then round off those corners. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So again, you want to identify the midpoint of this line. Just make a small mark of the of the exact middle of this uh, torso bit. And then cut that bit in half. So what I mean is another line here and another line here. So, so kind of see it as that's one segment here. And this is another segment here. And you pretty much... I've gone way off there, haven't I? There you go. That's probably about the midpoint. So... Try and get those points there, the middle of those two segments that you make. And from there, you want to draw a box that goes up. Now, this box isn't super high. It's um, it's shorter than the arms and the legs. So with your ruler, I don't know if you measure in centimeters or inches, whatever you measure in, make it just a little bit less than you would the arms. So say like maybe this sort of height here compared or something like that. It doesn't have to be completely perfect because, I mean... I haven't done it perfectly and it's already looking pretty Roblox newbie, so I'd say we're on the right track. So now into the smoothing off bit, this is super easy, especially if you're using a pencil. You pretty much just want to kind of cut off these corners like this, just round them off. So I don't know if you've seen like business cards, credit cards, things like that, where the corners are kind of smoothed off a bit these days. Um, and they're not just like sharp edges like a greetings card. And if you've got your eraser, if it's small enough, you can just kind of tickle away those corners just so you're not kind of left with those guidelines there. And there we go. We can get rid of the torso now because it's really obvious where the torso is. Let me just scrub that away real quick. So now now for the very famous Roblox noob face. Um, this is how we do it. I'm actually going to zoom in a bit here now that we've got the rest of the body drawn. Just going to bring that to the middle. There we go. So we're just working in this now. Now if it's helpful, you can cut this head in half just as kind of like a, a line of symmetry. That's what I'm going to do. This, again, is a little bit wrong. I'm going to cut it in half about there, okay? So you've got two equally sized uh, halves of the face. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the face in here. We, we start with two circular dots for the eyes. One goes here, just a circular dot, and the other one here. And notice how these dots are pretty much, again, in the center of these smaller segments that we've made. If I cut that in half, can you see that's in the center of this one, if you're thinking about the width of it, not the height, it's a little bit higher than the height, but it's in the center of the width of the head, if that makes sense. And make sure those eyes are nice and level as well. So once you've done that, now we're going to draw the, the weird kind of creepy noob smile that's going on. It's not just a simple curve like this though, it's actually got a bit of a funny shape to it. Um, so how you do this, start underneath the, uh, this eye, just but just to the side of this eye, as in uh, talking about a vertical sense. If you start about here and bring it down 
to the middle. That midpoint's going to be really, really useful because that's where we know we're going to bring the smile up. And then bring it up to the other side. And notice what I'm doing here. The mouth is not perfectly curved at all. It's almost it's almost kind of sharp as you get to the bottom here. It's almost kind of got a point. If you look at the actual, I'll put the actual picture of it on screen uh, just over here now. Um, so you can see there's a little bit of a a little bit of a point at the bottom of the mouth. It's just a very, very subtle thing, but we can see that on our own drawing. I'm actually going to trim back the mouth a tiny bit just to match it a bit more. And when you go over this with your pen or you know your, your Sharpie or whatever you go over this with, you might want to make it nice and thick because the mouth is actually drawn on the original picture with quite a thick, so like this, like a thick line. So make it nice and thick. See how that looks so much more like it now because I've used a, a bigger brush on this. And there we go. This, this character is well and truly ready to... Um, Oof. his way through the game and hope for the best. And there we go. That's our drawing of the noob. Uh, it's it's not quite finished. Obviously, we need to throw on some colors. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, go over your sketch with a Sharpie if you haven't already gone ahead and done it with inks. Uh, and throw on some color and it's going to look just like it. I'm going to finish mine off now, so I'll see you in a second. Damn, a bit of color makes all the difference. So now, whenever you want to make your own Roblox meme, you don't have to copy and paste the face anymore. Uh, nope, since now you know how to just draw it yourself. You can make your own custom meme and rake in all those precious fake internet points. If you feel Ooh. about your drawing, simply try again until you get it right. The face is the most important bit. It's simple, yet somehow unique. Before I go, don't forget to join the Draw Cartoons Discord. We'd love you to join us because we really want to see all of those Roblox memes over there. Just scroll down, hit the link in the description, and make an account if you need to. They're free and they're really easy. And that's it. Welcome to the Discord Doodlers. And thanks again for watching. Make sure you drop me a like and subscribe if you want to keep learning to draw the fast and easy way. Until next time.